always kills me. I always buy too much. No, you're not sad. Then, what have I told you about trying to be funny? Uh, make sure to always crack jokes. You're just so funny, Ben. Shut up, for God's sake. Alright. Alright, chill out. Sorry, you know, just been a bit on edge recently, you know, with everything that's been going on. Yeah, relax. Yeah, the book's been released, there's nothing they can do to you now. Yeah, maybe. Sorry. Hi Nick. Are you kidding? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call you back in a sec. Okay, bye. First week sales have just come in. Go on then, how many? 570,000. Fuck off. I can't believe it. <laughs> right, go home and get changed. Should have put the bins out as well, mother. I'm serious. Come on, we need to celebrate. It's half eleven. Stop being boring. Come on, we need a few drinks. Very well. It's a date. You wish. Oh, but I do. My dear, my heart yearns for your love. One more way from you, Mr Green, and this friendship is over. <laughs> now go. As you command. <laughs> Don't look, but I think someone outside is watching me. What? Pretending to use his phone. Black coat near that tree. <sighs> look, what do those Scientologist pricks leave you alone? Call the police. You know what they said last time? Yeah, well, fuck what they said last time. They're spying on you still. You can't let them get away with it. it it's fine. I won't let it bother me anymore. <sighs> Paulette Cooper? Yes. My name is Steve Kessler. I'm here to deliver your lawsuit on behalf of the Church of Scientology. What for? Libelous claims made in your book, Miss Cooper. Good day to you. What libelous claims? This has got to be a joke. No court will entertain this for a second. We'll let the court decide that, shall we? Good day to you. <sighs> Relax. There's no way it'll get into court. Never mind find you guilty. Let's get you on for the day. Rest at home for a bit. Hey, you can call people about your book sales. Yeah, I suppose. Wait, wait here a sec. Ben, please. You better have a bloody brilliant excuse for stalking my friend. I'm doing this for your safety. Right. Crazy fan then, or is that the best your church can come up with? I'm doing this for you, Ben. This should be good. Paulette is a dangerous woman. Or has she not explained how she was at a mental institution as a teenager? That she attacked a teacher? <laughs> right. Yeah, of course she was. But this is one mug you're not going to convince, fella. Now fuck off. Paulette, tell him I'm lying. How did you, I mean... Fuck off! Now! Are you okay? Why are they doing this? Why didn't you tell them that he was talking shit? Because it's true. What? I was depressed. I had really bad anxiety back then. But I had problems. It's not who I am anymore. You've got to believe me. You don't have to explain yourself to me. Yeah, it's fine. How could he know all that? I don't know. I've got some old diaries, but only I know where they are. When did you last see them? Months ago. I don't think they could have... Broken and stolen? Is it really that unbelievable? God. Well, I could be getting ahead of myself. Yeah, you might have contacted a school or a teacher. Let's go back and check. So, yeah. yeah. Before another one of them jumps out.
It's not here. Right, now you have to go to the police. They've broken into your house. I can't prove anything, can I? You're right. Bloody lunatics. Ben, shut the curtains. Jesus Christ, they're watching your house. Wait. I'm gonna go and have a word. Don't. They could be dangerous. Just stay here tonight. I want you to be safe. Alright. I'll tell work I'll be in late tomorrow. What's happening? What's happening? Just a power cut. Relax. Ben, please. It's them. Help me. Come here. It's okay. How can they do this to somebody? Scaring them in their own home. Tomorrow, go to the police, yeah? If your book's so popular, you'll have the public support on your side too. You'll scare them right off. You're right. It's gone too far this time. And you're positive it's the Church of Scientology? Of course I am. I wrote this book tearing their crazy cult apart. It was happening before the book was released and it's happening, happening again now. Why didn't you report any of these types of incidents earlier? I did. Your officers told me there was nothing they could do about it. All right, you did indeed. All right. Thank you for your statement. We'll, we'll look into your claims. Can't you do something for God's sake? Now, Miss Cooper. Oh, do you know what? Don't bother. You're putting my life at risk and you don't even care. Isn't it your job to protect people? You know it doesn't work like oh. that. I wish I could help. Miss Cooper. This is pointless. Go away before I scream. Look, all I want to do is ask you some questions for our monthly magazine. I have nothing to say to you. Take your book off the market. I'm sure we can reach some kind of agreement. I'm this far without giving in and I'm not going to start now. I'm sure your friends and family wouldn't appreciate hearing some of their stories from your college, would they? You were with a number of partners. Something of a free spirit work with Miss Cooper. I'm saying I know anything, but I know certain people give me certain rules. Leave me alone. Your diary was an interesting read. It's fine, mate. She's at the police station. She won't be back for a while. Won't even know I was here, the silly bitch. Honestly, mate, this has been the easiest assignment. You asshole! I trusted you! I fucking trusted you! Stop! Stop it, you silly bitch! Touch me again, you fucking slut, and I'll break your hands. I'm done here. You'll regret the day you tried to take us on, Paulette. I'll personally make sure you pay for what you've done. Dangerous woman. Or is she not told you that she was at a mental institution? <laughs>